I'm just sitting here in my garden. I just planted the uh, tennis ball lettuce leaves, lettuce. Now they are a little bit small, but they were kind of a bit stunted. And I do find that once I put them in the ground, they really start to grow like my marigold really started to come up. Even the tatsoi is really starting to grow now that it's in the ground. So I thought I would put the lettuce in um, just give it some more nutrient and um, I didn't film it because I'm just not ready for you to see that angle of me <laughs> um, but yeah here's what it looks like some are bigger than Mommy, others that's I'm making a, some cookies that's a good one. Oh, we're making cookies mud cookies yes can I please have a chocolate chip cookie okay <laughs> She said, I'm making cookies. Um, but yeah, it's just nice. Um, I use my picnic blanket as my garden <laughs> kneeling thing. But it's nice because then I can just sit here and enjoy the garden and sit in the sun because it's been raining nonstop. Um, so this was an old archway that I just, it it's like rusted and gross, but I'm going to use it when the sweet potato does finally grow. Um, I put peas in here, but they haven't sprouted. I don't know, maybe it's just too cold. I think that might be it. I think I just need to wait for the spring, summertime to grow peas. I've grown them before and never had an issue, so it must be the weather. Um, but yeah, I've done a little wash of my fetch bags and it's just the most gorgeous day. So I'm just gonna sit here until I can hear Mona cry. <laughs> because he's sleeping right now um, but Ivy just kind of she's just at that age where she can just safely play um, and then she'll come over and hang out with me then go back and play so such a nice day oh, just lovely all right baby Judy's I'm in and out in and out okay so then we're gonna do three cups of flour it says three and three quarters I always start with three and then I feel I think I last time I did three and a half. So what I was saying before is um, I'm, it's a nice day today, the sun's out. It's still cold, but if I can get the sun on the starter, my issue that I'm having with my bread is I can't get it to rise. My house is freezing, so I can't remember where I am. I'm a bit frazzled. Um... Oh, I just can never focus on one thing. It drives me mental. Um, I'm sure you can understand if you're a mama. Um, yeah, so I'll see about maybe putting in the oven. I just had the oven on, so I might let it cool down. And just so I can, I don't want to cook. I just want to have warmth, like room temperature warmth. Muna. So yeah, this, this is my challenge, is trying to get it to rise in this weather. And I'm glad I'm doing it today because it's been raining. So I haven't been out. It's like when it's raining, this house is just oh, too cold. So what I'm going to do is a little trick I learned is wet hands. Wet hands. And it helps the dough not be so sticky on your hands. I'm just going to mix that. Now sourdough... Um, takes a lot of effort so I don't know if I'm going to be able to continue this when I'm working but while I'm not I'm just going to try and learn and my goal is to just be able to make a decent loaf I don't have to be a baker but just want it to be nice and fluffy that's my goal I don't have a, a kneading machine of any kind I want to get a KitchenAid one day and be able to knead dough, that would be great. But until then, we're doing it old school. But yeah, um, every half hour for an hour and a half, um, I'm gonna stretch it, fold it, and put it back in. By the time half an hour has passed, I think the oven will have cooled down enough. I'll stretch it and then put it in the oven. I just wanna give it some warmth, not heat. So I'm going to feed the, uh, 
bean starter. I think it's one to one ratio. So we have, I'm going to do two tablespoons, two tablespoons of water and flour. And then I'll mix it and put it back in the fridge. And then she should be right for next week. I only make one a week because I'm the only one that eats it. And what I do is once the loaf is fully cooled down after cooking it, like fully cooled down, I um, cut it up and put it in the freezer. Either a large plastic bag or, or like a leftover paper bag. I just try and reuse um, for the freezer. So I'm going, I know they say don't use metal, but then I saw someone that I follow on in TikTok that makes sourdough and they said they use a metal bowl and metal spoon and that's all fine. And if they say it's fine, I'm gonna go with it. So I'm just gonna try and scrape the edges. Give it a good mix and then pop it back in the fridge. Don't you love when the one time you don't cook, your husband uses what you need? He went ahead and used the tomato <laughs> that I needed for the taco soup. So all I have, thanks babe. Yeah. All I have is the Italian peeled tomato. I had two of these to make tomato soup and he's obviously gone and used one. It's fine, but when I don't know, I think I have it as the main food provider. Hopefully this is okay. I'm just gonna use it because I use chicken stock anyway, which I forgot to get out. This is my chicken stock I made, it's my last one. So, oh, I forgot to take it out. I might put this in the oven. It's not, just to warm it up. And then I can just throw it in. So you've seen me make this before, so I'm not gonna show the whole thing. But basically, I've got a few caps that we're gonna chop up. I'm gonna put the root in, an onion. I'll probably use two cloves of garlic and this tin. And then I've got um, chicken thigh on the bone and I'm gonna just chuck it all in with the uh, chicken stock and just let it cook for, oh, I'll need some salt because my chicken stock has no salt. I might put this um, Vegeta Real Gourmet stock in for salty flavor. Um, I love that. So I might just chuck all that in and I'm gonna slow cook that for five or six hours until dinner's ready. And then we're going to make banana bread. Hazy mess smoking rollies in the back of an Acura. I have everything in here. I haven't even mixed it yet because we've got some frozen bits. So once it breaks down a bit more, I'll mix it. And then it's just gonna be ready. And then I just put sour cream, some cheese and some cheese seeds on top. And it is the best, best soup. Okay, now we're going to make, oh, I'm gonna be exhausted after this. We're gonna make banana bread. Okay, I got everything out for banana bread and realized it's time to stretch the bread. <laughs> so let's just move everything. All right, so I'm gonna take this out or you can use this. And you can't see. There we go. So my countertop is um, clean because I just cleaned it before I started cooking. So what I'm doing is I'm stretching it out. And then I'm just going to fold it. And this time I'm going to put it in the oven because I want, I want it to start to rise a bit. And now we're going to do banana bread. Now I want to do two loaves because I have lots of bananas. Um, you need two cups of flour for each loaf and that's how much I have. So I'm going to use bread flour today as well. I'm going to mix it. I've never done this before so 
I might, it's probably going to change the consistency. It's probably just going to be a little bit more bready, a little bit more loafy, um, which is fine. So, um, go to your fruit and veg shop um, and get old bananas, $1.78, $1.35. And that will easily, I could probably make two loaves with just one, but I like mine really bready. And then I'm going to make one with pear in the, with the banana. So I'm going to stew this. Oh, I'm going to have banana with walnuts and dried strawberries and cranberries. I just had them, so I'm just adding in what I have, you know. And I just thought that would be a nice. So with the two loaves, I basically freeze it all. I'm going to leave the recipe that I use. This is what I only use and it's the best recipe. I'm going to have it linked down below. It's from Natasha's Kitchen. No. Sally's Baking Addiction. Oh, I love Sally's Baking Addiction. Um, I'm addicted to her. So I'm using my phone for my recipe as well. So we want two cups of flour. So I'm going to do four. No, no I'll do both because then I can just add the pear second. Yeah. Let's do two cups. Four cups. Doubling. And then it was one teaspoon. It says baking soda, which is bicarb, I presume. It's like very confusing. Baking powder, baking soda. But the word soda was there. So one teaspoon. I don't have a measuring for teaspoon. I'm going to do two of these little. One. Two. I've never made two loaves in a row. Cinnamon. Oh, this one from Costco years ago. And look where I'm at. <laughs> oh, I just put a lot in, but it's all right. I like it. And then salt. So this is just um, iodized salt I bought in the packet. Uh, let's just do two pinches. Hey. Okay. Right, so we just mix that together because then we're going to do the wet separately and then you bring them together. So that's that. Okay, I remember. So apart from the flour, I always have these ingredients in my fridge. These are, all these ingredients are like good for basic cooking. I always have unsalted butter in the fridge. The big one. I actually have two. <laughs> because um, I'm going to be using this much. This is for two loaves, remember? So it was 115 grams or 230. Two, and it says it wants it at room temperature. So I'm going to cube it up. I've cut up my butter. And then it was three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. But I want two of that. So this is the brown sugar I made myself. I don't even know which vlog it's in. So I'm excited to make banana bread with this. What's wrong, Muna? He's not happy. Okay, Muna's sleeping. Let's get it done, all right? So two three quarters. Don't know what that equals. <laughs> but we'll do two three quarters. I don't know what I was talking about. I've been gone a while. I know it's something to do with brown sugar. All right, so. Three quarters of a cup lightly packed. I think that's what I was talking about. I was excited to have, um, be using this brown sugar for my banana bread. Did I use it with my last banana bread? Huh. Maybe I did. Maybe this isn't the first time. You know what I used it for the other day? I made pancakes on Sunday morning. And I like to make my own like fruit syrup kind of thing. So I had banana, mixed berries, all frozen, with lemon juice, water, and brown sugar to make it into a syrup. Oh, it was delish. Okay, so we've got that. Ooh. Okay, so it says 60 minutes. It says to cover with foil, but I never do. I don't think my oven is that hot, like for an oven. So 60 minutes. And while that's cooking, I've got my pear here. And I was thinking about cooking it, but I actually think I might just really thinly slice it. Um, and then it can soften while it's cooking. Am I on drugs? Ow. Am I on drugs? I, 
I never added the foil, the flower. Oh my god. Am I having a am I having a stroke? I never added the foil. That's why it looked runny. Am I an idiot? I think I'm a bit of an idiot. <laughs> okay. I don't I don't even know what to say. That's embarrassing. I got that all on camera too. Um I am hungry, so maybe I need to eat. So I've only just done this. Like it's been in there for like a minute. Wow. Just gonna throw that out. Luckily I realized I was here cleaning. I'm like, oh what's that flower? Oh my god. <laughs> Can you imagine if I just like walked away and came back in an hour and I'd be like, why is it so runny? <laughs> All right. Oh, I did it. And I realized there's pear in it too. So they're going to be exactly the same, which is fine. I just wanted to do, have two different kinds, but it doesn't really matter. Okay. An hour. Let's put the timer on this time. Seeing as I can't trust my brain. And then all right. Nice. We're gonna do that one more time in half an hour. I'm leaving it here because the oven is warm. And we might get some heat from it. All right, I'm gonna go sit down. And then in half an hour, I'll be back to do the bread. And I might actually make myself some lunch now, something quick and easy. Number one. And now we're just going to tuck it in. We're going to tuck her into bed. We're going to tuck her into bed with this. Now, most people have like a actual proper like thing to sit in, but this is the proper casing. But I just like to put it over this because it fits perfectly. It's the same idea. One less thing to buy. So I'm just tucking that in underneath to give it a nice shape and then I'm going to cover it and I want to keep it warm so I'm going to leave it on top of the oven so here are the banana breads and I can definitely tell a difference in the texture it's definitely more bready it's not bad at all but you can kind of see it looks more like a bread when I make it with normal plain flour it's a lot more dense and oh, I don't know how to describe it you know what I mean, like banana bread. So we have nine sets of two. So we've got 18 pieces of banana bread here. I'm going to eat this one. And then this is for Ivy and Vinny when they come home. Um, one has already eaten one, he's just had one. So we're all going to eat a piece. This is going to, I'll put one in the fridge for tomorrow. And then eight packets in the freezer. Freezer's fresh. So when you eat it, oh my God, it's just like when you cooked it. So um, I'm going to make the bread, but here's how it's looking. I'm not going to make it right now. It is, I think it's bigger, but it's not massive. Um, I think I'm going to do that later tonight. Here she is. I'm just going to let this sit. It's not looking amazing. I'm still struggling to get a rise. It might be partly to do with my lack of kneading skills as well. I just kind of need to figure out. Um, I forgot to tell you because I just was like, when I put the bread in, I just, um, 
had dinner. So I put this cast iron in the oven before I preheated it and let it heat in the preheated oven and then once it was hot I put the loaf in. Um, I think my oven is just not hot enough so usually they say about 40 minutes. I did about an hour because at 40 minutes it still wasn't hard enough. Um, it's okay, but it's certainly nowhere near I would want it to be. First, I think I'll just leave it out um, with the tea towel over it tonight um, and then cut it down. Right, me and the kiddos are going to go do the cutest little thing. Well, first we're going to go to Spotlight. They have this card holder. It's not a card holder. It's a craft organizer, but it's perfect for... Um, Ivy says hi. Um, but it's perfect for organizing your seed packets. Um, so I'm, they said that they're, I think it said it was in stock in my local. So I'm gonna go there um, and find that. And Ivy just loves going to the shops. And then we're gonna go to Flower Power. And during the school holidays, I just stumbled across it. They are doing little garden courses for kids. It only goes for an hour. Um, and it starts at 11 so we're going to go to spotlight and then go to flower power um, she'll have to be with me because she's under five but that's fine we'll sit and watch and they learn about good and bad bugs and grubs and very cute Mona wants to sleep so as soon as I start driving he's going to fall asleep so that's what we're going to do today um, I'll see if I can show a little bit we'll see how we go I still get very self-conscious filming in public <laughs> When I tell you I'm exhausted, oh my god, I couldn't even, I couldn't even film. It's like, I underestimate every time I go out how overwhelming it is to go out with two small children. There we go. I've got Ivy to rest, um, and in her bed, but she's like, and one is like a million miles an hour. Anyway, um, I went to, I went to Spotlight and I got this thing. I got this um, craft storage box with 16 colored cases and I've seen people use this for seed storage and I love it. So you put your seed packets in here and I had an idea because they're colored, I'm going to do the colors by seasons. Okay, we are going to organize. So I have, what have I decided? I'm so excited to do this, you have no idea. So it's a bit of a strange angle but. Are you surprised? No. So this is the color arrangement that it came in, but I think I'm going to change it. Um, so I think I want to do like, start with maybe, start with spring. And I think this will be summer. This will be sp Okay, so what I think I might do is, because I don't have a million seeds, right now I'm just going to use one side. And then um, as it grows or my garden grows, I can then change it up, change the plan. So in here, I already have everything categorized. So I think I might do, because there's like two for each, maybe edible, non-edible, so like flowers. I think that might be the best bet. Okay, here are my flowers. I am actually growing carnation at the moment. They have sprouted. I have um, hollyhock. I just thought they looked pretty. I have nuts. Oh, I forgive me if I pronounce things wrong. Nastur nasturtium. Nasturtium. I know that one. <laughs> and then I have California poppy. Okay, so I have much less flowers, much less flowers than I do vegetables. I also get a lot of free seeds. I'm part of the um, Diggers Club and every, I think twice a year you get free seeds as well. So sometimes I have duplicates, but not because I bought them, they just came. All right, so let's start with, um, these are all season, these ones. So when something's all season, I think for now, 
Actually, it might be good just because I know I'm not going to use this in the winter. Um, and a lot of these I've used, so I'll put the ones I haven't used at the bottom. I've got two spring onion red, which I haven't grown. Um, a lettuce mix. Pak choy, which I'm currently growing and has sprouted. Mizuna, which I'm growing and has sprouted. Spinach is growing in the ground. Silver beet is growing. Spring onion is growing. Lettuce tennis ball is growing. Um, radish is growing. Tatsui is growing. Broccoli is growing and kale is growing. So these are the ones that are growing right now. And these are like my all seasons. Here we have spring to summer. So what have I done? Oh, these are all of the spring. So this is all spring. Let's do summer. That's a lot of spring. So summer we have amaranthus, which is the edible, beautiful leaf. Beetroot, leek. Eggplant, long purple. And then I've got these three sisters. I'm gonna, cannot wait to do this. Actually, I think this is more spring. It's the, um, the method where you have pumpkin on the ground and then you have corn growing and the beans grow up the stalks and it kind of, they help each other because it shades the pumpkin provides the corn provides a stalk to grow up it's yeah i really like the idea this is spring to summer i think it's gonna be more spring i'm gonna keep those together i can also you don't have to do it with pumpkin i'm you can also do it with watermelon which i was thinking of doing um because i have watermelon so spring are these three i'm just gonna put that together you see that's taking up so much space in. Um, summer I am not going to do because none of them, I mean some of them say only spring. This is spring to summer. Okay, if they say spring only, I'll keep them in. If they say spring to summer, I'm putting them in summer. <laughs> Joe's Long Cane, Chili Early Jalapeno, Dill Bouquet, Chili Maui Purple, Parsley, Cucumber, Pumpkin, Waltham Butternut, and Zucchini Trombon, Trombon Chino. There's a lot to learn in gardening, but I, I'm really enjoying learning the process. So, um, oh God, I just... I just want like a full garden. I just want to be a full-time gardener, but like as a hobby. <laughs> so yeah, let's go do that. How's this for an angle? You're in my little greenhouse. I've got nowhere else to put you. Okay, so I'm going to start um, with this. I'm going to put some of my leftover seedlings that failed. And I've still got, um, vermiculate in there. This is what I was talking about that I use in my garden. Um, it's the ocean to earth naturally compost composted sea minerals alive with beneficial microbes. It's Australian. I can link it down below if you like gardening. Um, and it doesn't smell. So here's my cream mix. I'm going to add some of this in. I only want a little tray. I don't want to do too much. I'm just going to do nine cells. I'm not going to do 12. Okay, so I'm going to just, what have I got left? Still got quite a few. I've got that, so I'm going to put all of those quite a lot. If I don't do it all, I'm not going to. I want to really condense them. I'm just going to do six and then I'm going to water it. I don't have any water on me. All right, let me go quickly water it. So here they are. And they're going to be nice and cozy in 
just this six yeah nice and cozy in the greenhouse something is eating these and i don't know what i can't i can't visibly see anything they're eating my broccoli that's just destroyed fortunately i already have some in the ground those ones there i think it's tatsoi look at my pack choy i'm so happy with my pack my carnations they're even eating my carnations and they're the failed onions and then here is a watercress and mizuna um that are getting little nibbles but they seem to be okay so i have a lot of pak choy i was not expecting this <laughs> too much to put anywhere oh i forgot to tell you this morning see they ate my tatsoi and my whatever that is spinach i think i was mixing my compost and i found a little potato was growing so i put it in and then i actually have heaps of potatoes so what i'm going to do i've actually planted one in there Dutch it was a determinant because this is not extremely deep so this is just a trial because I know it's not technically time to plant um, potatoes but it, I don't know if it's going to frost here or not I'm still kind of getting a gauge for weather because I've never taken notice before so I've got one from the compost and one that I have that I wanted to grow later and then if it does work I have see these I used to garden in those exclusively at my old house and I have another I've used two for compost and then I have another two up the back so I've got three more to use and if they do work I can put potatoes in it and then I have three potato grow bags which is not enough for all the potatoes that I have I bought way more than I needed I got way too excited oh look some seedlings just want to grow, you know? And then some just don't, no matter how much you care for it. So hopefully that little bit of extra fertilizer, seeding them all together, and then bottom watering is going to help. These are techniques I did not use last time. So hopefully it works this time. Um, and then we got this cool new flower. We went to Flower Pearl yesterday. How cute. I know it's too crammed in, but I just don't have the space. And these aren't going to last forever. So I just popped them there. This is just nothing's happening. I am think I'm going to have to pull those out. Our neighbour gave it to us. No, not neighbour. Um, landlord said it was raspberry, but it's just not grown since they gave it to us. So I think I'm going to pull those out. And I think it's going to rain. Yes, I've got to do the washing. Washing's ready. This is the flower ivy got to plant and we put it in a bigger pot. And look at this. They're going to be blueberries. I cannot wait. There's so many. And I think this is doing well because I bought soil with a higher pH. I think it was, oh, it was, oh, I can't even remember what I did, but I bought a special soil. And it's really made a difference. Funny that. And then we bought another strawberry, which is Loana. Loana. They're not the best strawberries, these ones, but they do. Ivy loves it. The problem is they, the animals eat it before, before you can get to them. <laughs> but they, it grows well. Like we're in the middle of winter right now. This is not working. I need to. The thing is, I'm waiting for winter to stop to see if it's just wind or if it's I'm the problem. This is the thing with um, early gardening. I just don't know what the hell I'm doing. So I'm going to do some editing now. Because it's Wednesday and I need a video to go up. I don't even know if I have a video to go up. I know I have one, but I don't know if I edited it or not. I'm going to edit it. <laughs> That's okay. I will do that. And then I'll upload it. And then I might even, depending, I don't think it's going to take me too long. Oh, um, I don't think it's going to take me too long, but um, I might even start editing a vlog. Because editing a vlog is very different to editing just a regular makeup video. Because a makeup video is just like one sitting, upload it all, edit. Whereas a vlog, it's like choppy, changing, over days. I'm like, when do I start it? When do I end it? End it? 
Um, so I know I have a bit of content, so I might end it here and get to work. Thanks for watching guys and I'll either see you in my next vlog, I'll never see you again because you hated it, or I'll see you in my next makeup video. <laughs> Bye.